Welcome back to Profiles in Caring. As we tell you about South Central Scholars, you won't believe where these kids end up. Doug Jardine concludes the story now from Los Angeles. Where am I without Central Scholars? Uh, probably in a darker place, honestly. I didn't realize it when I was growing up in South Central. I didn't realize, it, I didn't realize that there was a perception about kids from South Central. And then when I got to high school, I was like, oh, you know, kids kept asking me, Do I, if I go to your house, will I get shot? And I was like, are you crazy? That's a ridiculous question to ask me. And when I realized that that perception existed, I knew I wanted to fight against it. After high school, I just came here to the University of Southern California. It was, it was a matter of where I was going to go. It wasn't a matter of if I was going to go. I knew it since I was about, I didn't pay too much attention to it when I was in middle school, but I knew it since then. I, I, I knew that I was the type of person that would want to go to college. And even when I got to high school, I, I was a bit confident and a little bit of cocky, and I would say, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to whoever wants me. It's not what college I want to go. It's what college wants, wants to be privileged of having me. I was in places where, where there were you know, a lot of violence and a lot of uh, ill will towards others. And uh, seeing, a bunch, seeing even just a few people who are positive and they care, you know, even if they don't know you, it changes the way you see the world because you, you look now, I, you know, for example, myself, I look for, when I look into strangers, I see, I, you know, I see potential that they might be good people and, uh, you know, every stranger can be a potential friend. Hey, you prove to everyone that you're from South Central, but you're still as smart as everyone else. And so I knew that I had it in me to keep going, go to college and then eventually graduate, go on to medical school, which is what I want to do now. I'm pretty much the first in my family, whether it's like my distant family, any of my family members to go to to go to college, but I set a trend now. I want to be the example for everybody to look up to me and just decide, oh, okay, I want to be like my cousin Sherwin. Just thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for making me who I am. And like, hopefully once I'm out of here, I'm just gonna keep on contributing back to South Central just so we could keep on going with this program. South Central Scholars is so much more than just getting one of these students into college. In fact, you might say that is really only the beginning. As they get to college, South Central Scholars, as an organization, does its best to keep tabs on these very special students, phone calls, letters, and cards. The things that uh, Tricia does is she sends them uh, cards at Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter. And I always thought um, in the first few years that was kind of a great expenditure of time for a very little gain. And the one thing that every single student comments on is the cards. And that doesn't seem like that's important or that it would contribute to their education. But what it tells them is there's someone who's out there that they're connected to that is supporting them in their uh, efforts to go to school. And if they need to, they can pick up the phone and call. And that's why they regard those cards as important. And the organization goes a step further in helping the kids to cope in school in this university setting, many times establishing support groups very far away from home because South Central Scholars has students right now in Yale, Princeton, Duke, George Washington, Cal, USC, UCLA, and dozens of other top-ranked United States universities. What our program helps to do is demystify some of their misperceptions about academia and also we encourage the students and we empower the students to understand that they are, can compete, um, they have earned their right to be here, um, and once they really feel as they're full citizens of the university, they really just blossom. They really blossom. In addition to that, we encourage students to, to not feel stigmatized because they came from these particular neighborhoods. In fact, to focus some of their research or some of the inquiries, and some of the coursework they do to address the questions that they brought with them from their communities. And come back to the community and say, hey, look, here am I. I made it. I was sitting in that seat just like you were. You know, I'm not any better, any worse than you are. If I can make it, you can. And what better role model than their fellow classmates. I mean, I can talk to them until I'm a blue in the face. You know, it's tough for me to be, get blue in the face, but and they may not listen to me as, uh, as much as they would listen to their fellow peers. I worked closely with the Black Parent Organization back when I was at school, so they invited me to come back, 
And I went back and they were like, oh, we have our Yale student here. Right now I have a, a younger sister and I know she's gonna live in South Central too, like I did. And I want her to be able to have the experiences and the opportunities that I've had. But not only her, her little friends too. And one of the reasons why I want to go on to medical school, after going to medical school, I want to go back to the community and, you know, be a physician in that type of setting. And for the Londons, the founders of South Central Scholars, it goes much beyond their initial and continued financial commitment. They currently have another student living with them and hopes for her are very high. We have one student in particular who was homeless, who's always, who had always lived her entire life in homeless shelters. We took her home with us and she lives with us today. She's in high school and she's been accepted into Amherst, Dartmouth, Harvard, Williams, uh, Bryn Mawr, Vassar, yeah, um, most of the, of the major Ivy League schools. But what separates many of the scholars from students outside of the program is our drive. All of us are driven to overcome the preconceived notions of our backgrounds and become pillars in our own right, in turn enabling others to realize their own self-worth and their intellectual abilities. In the words of one of our students who spoke at one of our fundraising dinners, he said, I was the valedictorian at Fremont High School. Let me tell you what that means. Absolutely nothing. What he was saying was he had learned very little at Fremont High School. And when he arrived at college, he had to really work hard to catch up. And that's reflected in our students' grade point. I think our grade point the first year is somewhere around a 3 to a 3-2 for all of our students for the freshman year of college. Our average grade point in the fourth year is about a 3-7 to 3-8. What it tells you is our students are just as smart but not as well prepared. And we tell them that because they're going to feel not as smart the first year. They're the first ones in their family to go to college. They frequently have uh, no one in the family that is supporting their endeavor. In fact, uh, there would be more people in the family pulling them back towards South Central than pushing them forward. And um, they really respond when you give them a little bit of guidance. I think the students speak for themselves. I think it's very difficult for someone to meet students from South Central Scholars and not be incredibly impressed. Guidance, love, attention, a roadmap out of South Central Los Angeles, not for a lifetime, but for higher learning and hopefully, and it is happening already, the students affiliated with South Central Scholars will find their way back here and make a difference in helping other young, bright students realize their potential and the world which awaits them as they stare at the stars through small apartments and dream of what might and can be. In Los Angeles, Doug Jardine profiles in Caring. Our heartfelt thanks to the Londons and to everyone making South Central Scholars such a success. If you'd like to learn more about this organization, log on to our website, goodtube.org, and type keywords South Central Scholars. For all of us at Profiles in Caring, I'm Kimberly Perkins, Thanks for watching and thanks for caring. GoodTube, a website devoted to videos on good people, good works, and good news about the nonprofit world. Grab your video camera and share the inspirational stories of your charitable group. And each month, the best nonprofit videos uploaded to GoodTube will win a grant of $1,000 and be featured on the internationally syndicated TV program, Profiles in Caring. It's free, it's easy, it's GoodTube.